Um, but in this video, it's going to be a short one. Um, I'm just going to answer a question that a lot of people ask me. How safe is Germany? So if that's something that you're interested in and you always wanted to know, stay tuned. It's going to be a quick one, so you don't have to like. Worry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this will be the first actual video that I'm doing that's not a vlog in the last three weeks um, because I'm vlogged out. I am vlogged out. And I'm pretty much done editing most of the footage from the UK. So, I had a great time. If you couldn't tell from the videos, I made mean, the fact that I still have problems with my voice. <laughs> I had a good time. So, yeah, I get this question more often than you would think. I feel like I get this question probably more than the how cold is Germany question. And speaking about how cold is Germany, why are we in September and I am just in all of this clothes and I'm in my house? But I will tell you why. First of all, it's September, so the heating is not on because it's not supposed to be six degrees in September. But here we are, and the heating in my building is not yet tuned on from the main, so it's freezing inside and outside. So I'm wearing many, many layers. So I don't get myself sick and I could comfortably work and I can comfortably do other things. That's mad. Um, but anyway, into the topic. How safe is Germany? In one word, pretty safe. <laughs> oh, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe. It's real safe. You know how safe it is? Well, first of all, let me just narrow that down. Depending on where you live, it's definitely, it will change. So obviously, if you live in a big city, you can expect that there are probably more small thefts, small crimes. But on a whole, the country is very safe. I mean, I've seen people like drop their wallets on the streets. And then like somebody will go door to door or somebody will actually bring it to their door. You know kind of thing it's very rare i mean it's happening i would say it's happening a little bit more and more these days that you will hear about like small thefts and stuff happening quick story actually my neighbor came to me um a couple months ago and she knocked on my door and um she was like are you missing things from your, your um basement i'm like my basement things like what things like what do you mean things i'm like it's locked why would i be missing things i'm like i also don't go down there every day or even every month i don't go there very often so i wouldn't know if something's missing she's like yeah they noticed that the door of her cellar was open and they're missing like a couple power tools i'm like oh shit you know like oh okay so then obviously i went down to my cellar the door was still locked and I mean, there's not much there to take, um, but everything that I thought was there before was still there. So that was a weird occurrence that happened. And what I guess is that they don't always close the main door properly. So maybe somebody came in. I don't know. That was real weird. I'm still convinced that she loaned the tools to somebody and just forgot. Um, but in terms of like locking your doors, it's very uncommon that people will like lock their doors with the key when they leave usually when i'm leaving my flat i just pull in the door um and you can only open the door if you have a key um very rarely people will also pull in the door and then also lock it so it's the same for like the main door of the house and that's how it is everywhere like it's a constant thing that you will find in germany so Sometimes I go to the supermarket and I forget to lock the car and I'm not going to be like, oh my God, did I lock the car and like go back? I'll be like, oh, okay, the car is not locked. It's not going to be a problem, you know, that kind of thing. You have this, at least I have a very worry-free feeling when it comes to the crime here because it's so limited and yeah, you never hear about somebody stealing a car. You never hear about these very dramatic things happening. So I definitely feel a very big sense of security when it comes to safety here in Germany. I don't 
it's funny i also have another story i mean i have so many stories where i tell people about the safety um like late at night you might be hanging out with friends i don't know it's three o'clock in the morning and we're walking home and we're walking through all of these very sketchy looking alleys and we're not like concerned to like look over our shoulder so there is definitely that huge sense of security even in larger cities okay in larger cities you have to be a little bit more concerned but still it's not like a huge thing you know they do have some big stories that was in the news like for example the guy that randomly drove through the christmas markets that doesn't happen a lot or for example the guy that pushed people into the train traps that was wild so those things those things really made news because things like that so rarely happens the place is just so incredibly safe and i, I kind of like that it's very comfortable now i'm talking about if i lock the car did i lock the car not sure yeah i mean i have a friend she also she leaves her front door wide open so every time i'm coming to her place she's like you just go inside the doors open i'm like i feel like you all should close the door sometimes i'm like do you even have keys they just leave they literally leave the door open <laughs> this is it's like it's really it's very safe and i always say that i i mean i'm sure if you watch my walk-in video to be on the side um i said in the video that i have no idea what the police do because i really don't know what they're doing they're just driving around and i don't know people report accidents to them or if you guys in the car trouble i think you can also call the police or something like that but other than that what are they doing i clearly they're all very in shape so they clearly go to the gym but yeah it's very it's very comforting i would say um and you would see people they're so i mean the life is so comfortable for example people would just like be walking with their children and the children are like i don't know 10 meters behind them or in front of them or just so i see little children like they could be like three years old just walking alone and i'm just like where are your parents the parents are nowhere to be found but they're just really really far behind or far in front there's a really there's a huge sense of security here and it's as i said it's very comforting um and I have also gotten accustomed to the life because I find myself doing strange things like I would go grocery shopping and I would have my wallet and stuff just directly there in the cart and I might just leave the cart and then I'll go two lanes over to pick up some eggs and come back and there is no concern that is my wallet's not going to be there. Okay, my friends tell me I shouldn't do it, but I'm just saying like this is something and honestly i try not to do it anymore but still i'm telling you like the wallet will still be there you know that kind of thing you just have that security it's just it's very safe um so yeah so the answer to that question that building question that people have been asking how safe is germany very <laughs> and we'd like to keep it that way so if you want to take your bad ways somewhere else that will be good because I'm very, I'm very happy with my safety. Anyway, guys, as I said, this was a quick video as well as I'm not able to talk for a long time because I said my voice is still not back to its original form. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave me any questions below about the safety and the nonsense that I'll be doing. I'm really glad to answer your questions. I'll see you guys in the next video.